Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, in this video I will try to do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, as, the, uh, as the Christmas is approaching uh, there are Christmas deals going on in there that regards to the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live, uh, live reading which are to save you some money. So that being said going to the tarot reading first for while it seems uh, Virgo this is going to be rather um, not stressful exactly but let's say a uncomfortable week. Now we do have the eight of wands, the seven of wands, excuse me, and the seven of wands by its generic meaning it does mean struggle. One stands against many, you know, uh, one needs to stand their ground, uh, and uh, one needs to fight for what they possess, and etc, etc. But on a more profound level, the seven of wands, it is about the underlying issues that uh, it's easily neglected at its um, initiative and uh, quickly escalates to a point where it will be very hard to manage. So this week, the topic of this week is about you being vigilant or you have to be vigilant in order to spot on from where the hostility or the problem is to arise. If, they, if there are people involved into it, usually the, the problem starts to arise from a rumor or from a gossip about you and your job, for example, or about you and your relationship, etc., etc. And uh, usually what people do is, is that they just neglect that rumor or that gossip, but this quickly uh, <clears throat> kind of like suffuse all the environment. And uh, sooner than later, you are to realize that the situation is going way beyond your control. And at that point, a really heroic actions are needed for you to manage the situation and to basically establish control back upon your, um, upon your things. So uh, this week, again, you need to be vigilant and as well, you need to guard your estate. That is... Uh, not from a lesser importance. You should not allow exterior influence to uh, kind of seize control over your relationship. For example, whispers from your friends or from your partner friends into their ear, you know, telling them what they to, what they have to do, how they to behave. And uh, the very common um, obstacle here that we see is, for example, you know, your, uh, your beloved one is um, on a coffee with their friend and their friend is telling them how you should behave if you love them. That is the most common thing that basically ruins relationships. And uh, the Seven of Wands is an uh, unsettling card because that is to be a relationship of test. This, this week, your career is to be tested, your patience is to be tested, and in general, your relationship as well, if you do have one, is to be tested. And all that because we do have the eight, the nine of wands. So we do have a couple of meanings here. The nine of wands could represent that finally you are spending time with the person that you really like to and that's why you do face such a resistance such an infiltration from the exterior world there trying to trying to drift you both apart or the nine of wands could represent that you have finally picked up yourself together picked up your shits together and you start making the necessary changes so you can feel more comfortable at your job, you know, or so you can feel more comfortable as well into your relationship. And that is not faced very lightly from those around you because they 
um, in the past you know one way or another um, <clears throat> even in the smaller portions you know you are uh, comfortable for them but now as you are making those changes to make yourself more comfortable you are disrupting their uh, their comfortability and uh, there is a retaliation you know for example um, if you have changed your shifts at work because you are finding it more fitable for your daily routine uh, that will interfere with someone else's comfortability back at work and they are to retaliate to you with not very pleasant means uh, if i may say that way so um, or kind of like with surreptitious means for that matter so the seven of swords comes to play here which is the predicaments or the challenges that are that are to cause predicaments uh, throughout the week and the biggest challenge that you are going to face is to stand for yourself to basically say well it's gonna be the way I want to be alright because uh, that card here points that you will have strong enough backbone to do so but in the same time the how can I place it the sense of avoiding wrangles and the sense of avoiding conflicts is going to kick in here so uh, you do have a couple of options available looking at this card one of the options available is uh, to basically salvage the situation succumb to it you know resign about your state and just do what is going to bring most peace into the environment and that is where you should where you are going to be uh, where you are going to be tasted or tested excuse me not tasted but tested uh, in order you to become a comfortable or to exert comfortability in your life you have to traverse through the lack of harmony in, uh, in your relationships with people and on your situations for that matter. It's kind of like, you know, rearranging a, a rebus, rearranging a puzzle. When you start rearranging it, things doesn't make much sense, they look uncomfortable, but as soon as the pieces are falling into their new places, then all starts to make sense. This is no different here, all right, and uh, basically, you know, in order for you to exert the necessary changes so you can um, make your environment more comfortable you have to provoke a, a certain unpleasant events if i may say it that way the other option available that the seven of swords points here that is to be a challenge is to basically stand for yourself just like i said storm your situations uh, rebel if uh, if you need to you know to your co-workers to, uh, to your partner into a relationship as well basically slam your fistful on the table and say it is going to be the way I want it or is not going to be at all so eventually they are to realize that you know there is no way out for them uh, going victorious or walking out victorious from that situation of course they are going to taste your patience they are going to traverse the situation in a such way that seemingly you are to lose everything if you don't succumb to their will but that's not the case here what we do see in these couple of cards it is just basically they are trying to manipulate you mentally by lying to you and by making you feel guilty for that you are trying to make your life more easy than than before and that you are trying to overcome your situations and etc etc so uh, basically you need to have here a huge sense of self-righteousness and the last card that we do come across that is to be the eight of wands which is the uh, guidance that Tsaru is offering to you and in this specific case the eight of wands is uh, representing the uh, basically is a confirmation that no matter how difficult that struggle may look like uh, throughout the week it can be overcome should you be unyielding enough, unyielding enough about your standpoint and about what you really want your environment to be and your daily routine to be your job to be your career uh, your uh, relationship to be etc etc basically you need to be stubborn <laughs> if you want to accept it that way, you know, not just the yielding, but as well stubborn that you want it to be exactly 
that you will well that is the expression to make it the way you want to make it right and you have to be stubborn about it and you should not be willing for a, a compromise throughout the week regardless is it going to be about your relationship or about your career the eight of wands points that there is no different opinion as well i mean you have reached about your truth you have reached your truth you know um <clears throat> how you want to proceed further either with the other undertaking and either with the relationship and there should be nothing in this world that make you to deviate from that specific opinion of yours so basically you have reached your truth and those who are not compatible with your truth doesn't have any place in your life so that was the tarot reading for you Virgo now let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to say um, and they are to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, you should try to avoid all right the first one this is going to be the house and the house refers to home it refers to a state it refers to stability as well then we do have the coffin the coffin is about ending like the death card in tarot and the last one this is to be the ring and the ring stands for commitment marriage it stands for engagement as well basically union so what we do have here is a an ending of a commitment that was uh, secure enough before uh, as we said here you know people that you are compatible with are now incompatible with your new found world order should i say that way as you are making those changes so we are you are redefining your estate which makes a a current commitment some of your current commitments come to an end and that will be the struggle of those people around you they will try to keep you on their side you know working for them once more and etc etc the very grim interpretation of these cards as well could be a, a divorce you know this week suddenly your wife or your husband could file for divorce but that is a very grim interpretation and uh as this is a general reading that will not be the case for every single one of you maybe in a very petite portion of you Leos but not for every single one of you in any case uh, you know that these cards are pointing that our commitment that you have placed their great hopes at is coming to an end due to the fact that you will want more from life and the life and basically that everybody in life included to treat you with more respect and to give you what you deserve so that being said uh, not Leo but uh, Virgo, Virgo excuse me so that being said Virgo this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19 to November 25th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, Again, this was just a general reading for Virgo star signs and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And don't forget about the Christmas deal. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.